have to walk through the mud after it's clean. And these are the kind of shoes you wear. Now let's go over to the duck pen and I'll show you how to feed the ducks. Here I am at one of the pens of Billy Stovall at the residence of Route 6, Box 310, America, Georgia, 31709. If you would like to contact him or get a bird from him, you just call at his home, 912-924-3583. Or at work, call him at 912-924-8001. Now I'm fixing to feed the birds that you would like to watch. This is the pheasant pen. All right, first off, I'll feed these. See, we got a, just some regular old mushroom pheasants in there. And I'll feed them a little bit here. And they already have their water, so I don't have to put water for them. And it looks like these already have enough water and food, so if you want to show them the birds, you can, but they don't need any more food. That is an Amherst pheasant right there. And it's very pretty. And the one up above it is the Amherst wife. It's very pretty, too. Right? And then over here... We have the golden pheasant. It's a very beautiful bird, I think. And then we have some other females in with it so it can mate and have eggs and babies. Now we'll go over to the duck pen and see some other ducks and pheasants and quail and such. Thank you. Yes, here we are at another pen. And they have just different kinds of pheasants. If you'd like to look at them, you can while I feed them. Or you can watch how I feed them in the little containers over here. See the boots? They keep my feet dry when I step in that puddle so I don't have to worry about getting my feet wet. And I put them some in here. Then in case if it rains, I put it in here. Then they have dry food, you see. And that's really nice because they like this kind of stuff. It's called... 15% layer mask, and we'll get it at the FRM in America, Georgia. And we got a little pool in here to get water, so I don't have to worry with water with them. And they're, such, they're pretty pheasants, and the logs we have, they can climb up and perch on them at night to go to sleep. And um, we'll go over here and look at some ducks now. Let me lock it up there. Few, just a few of the fine feathered friends we have over here at, at Stovall Manor for retired birds. Here I am ordering these nice gambrel quail we have. I don't know if you can see them, but they have a little thing on the top, and that really makes them pretty birds. I have already put food in there for them. But I think they're a gorgeous bird. Can you see them in there? They are pretty birds. What do you say? They're the prettiest quail that we have. And now we'll go on to see the Bob White quail and the odds and ends of this can in here. Here's where I get the food. I get it and I put it in a coffee can. And then I pour it into a feed bin. And I'll show you how I do that. Since I'm low on food today, I just picked up the bag and poured it into this coffee can. And I'll show you. This is how I feed the Bob White quail. They have enough water, and it's not frozen over like the Gambrel does. But see, I pull the top off like this, just like that and over there. And I pour this in this, and they come over here, and they get the food. See, this isn't frozen over like the other. Yes, it is. It's got a little frozen, but this is all the frozen. The water isn't actually frozen in it. They can have water, get a little ice drink or something, and then uh, they got the food too already. Then we have two more pens with uh, Bob White quail in them, and they are very full of quail. And uh, I'll show you them right now, because I'm going to put a little food in here for them. Okay, on the bottom we got some Bob White quail, and water, they got water. And I need to clean out that water thing, but what you have to clean out is very simple. It does not take much time. You just kind of rinse it over and over and over like this and dump out the juice and then do it several times.
coming out very rapidly and it needs to be coming out because so we can drink water. Okay, now I'm fixing to feed the wood duck, pintail, redhead, and I believe we have some mannions, but they're not in this pen. I'm fixing to feed them. I poured in this long bin and then those containers in there. See, I put that in there so some can get in here, and then the people, the ones, I mean the dogs, <laughs> don't get a chance to get there. I come over here and poured in these pens over here, and they can get it over here since they don't have a chance over there. Now we're fixing to go over here and feel, feed the silver pheasant and the teal. If you'd like to come over here with me, we have the nice free silver pheasant, which is a very nice bird that means the other pheasant. Come on in. Over here we have a little house which has the feed under it so that the feed does not get wet. Let me show you. so they don't have to jump. But they've got water in there and they have water in here to drink. Now I come in here to feed these nice little ducks. They're small ducks. And they're very pretty too when it is the right season. If you'd like to come in here. Okay. Here we have the green wings. And then we have some blue wings behind there. And this is where I put the feed. So that it doesn't get wet. See? And there's a pool for them to swim in. And that's about all for these birds. They're real small. They nest in that little house over there. And it's very nice. Here we are at the last pen of the duck pens. And we see many different types of birds here. We have the tree duck. And we have pheasants. And we have this nice tame little quail over here. And then we have the mandarin and the cinnamon teal. And I believe there's another duck back there. Oh yeah, see it back there behind the bush? It's a nice pretty duck too. And in here, where I feed the birds is behind this board over here so that it doesn't get wet. I pull it out like this. I pour the food in here. I stick it back up under here where it it won't get wet, and I have to have the birds in here. And this is the last pen that I'll feed for Mr. Stovall here, and this concludes it for duck feeding procedures. Thank you. Mom. 
Martin Stovall for duck feeding procedures. Thank you very much for watching.